Okay, uh, this is the uh, March 11th, 2021 uh, budget workshop. I'm Steve Miller. Um, go around and introduce ourselves to whoever's present today. Sure. Mine is not. My mic is on now. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, I can't hear without it. I really can't hear without it, so. I, I can't hear you at times as well, so. Oh, make... Now you can. <laughs> Brett Cooper. Bob Hurley. All right. Thanks, everyone. And see, there are no members of the public here for us to, to worry about presenting. So, with that, um, I guess Kathy, it's all yours. All right. This is uh, we haven't done a lot of things since the um, last time we met. Um, like I uh, started the floor that a lot of your like, cost reductions and all that kind of things are going to come maybe April, May, by May, but we'll give our short presentation here. Okay. Um, this is just to review the Act 1 index, uh, the 3%, the adjusted index, 4%, um, the Avery Field, 67.5%, and the Avery Field, 67.5%, the Avery Field, 67.5%, and 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 the Avery Field, 67.5%, Rate on 33.4.4 is the capability of whatever you want to do, whatever the bill was. If the bill is where you want it or however. Um, without exception, that is $1.3 million increase in revenue at our current budget. Now, the funding for state and federal. We have effort to fund the federal stimulus of one time money. We want to make sure that everyone is clear that it is only one time money. I did reflect it in the one pager just to kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. Um, we still want to caution around the funding as well as we're not sure how it's going to affect CEF. There's a way that, you know, it's possibly affected. So we wanted to just be talking to everyone there. Okay. Um, after three months, that is, we're still not sure of the timing of that. Now, if you look at the paper, I have it highlighted in yellow down at the bottom. In the 22-23 uh, school year, and that's $3.4 million. Again, we don't know how this is going to impact the DEF. And the other cost, the, of course, is one-time money, you know that. And then we don't know if we're going to be able to use it in 22-23 and 23-24. They still haven't given us the complete guidelines for that, but I put it all in 22-23 to show what the number looks like. Um, IDA funding has decreased approximately 50,000. We all know that was in the last presentation, just a reminder. And state funding, um, the projections, I'm still conservative on that as we wait to see what's actually going to happen. Um, the assessment value at this time increased, just as I indicated the last time. We're still working on determining the mass sterile property and the power plant effects for 2122. Kathy, Kathy I, 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 I have a question back on yes. the uh, funding. Uh, the ESSER 2, the, the $1.4 million, you have that in for this school year? Is that? Yes, it's down at the bottom right beside the number in yellow. Right, okay. So, uh, it's in 2122. And is that new at this point, or? That was that we already, um, used, when I discussed it at the finance committee meeting, we had already decided we're going to use that on the reading and the math specialist, okay. their salaries, which then frees up other money that we could use towards, it's, it's in there for that. Okay. Was That's it, how we're going to write the grant. Yeah, that, yeah, that was a grant that uh, Mr. Hurley had just mm -hmm. submitted based on the second stimulus money that was released by the feds. That was the uh, portion that the district uh, was allocated. Okay. All right. And then the other, the ESSER 3 is just for the 22-23, is it? And like I said, we're not 100% sure whether we can do 22-23 and 23-24. We're guessing that we can. Okay. There's been nothing fine-tuned to that yet. And, and that was part of the stimulus bill that was just signed today by the president right. and that this was the anticipated amount now we don't know um that was the original one that went to the senate uh, or i'm sorry the house and then went to the senate and back to the house so 
revisions to. Right. So since those revisions have been done, we don't know if any of that money has been touched and uh, what other strings are attached to it. Um, we haven't gotten new information. That was the, the initial amount that said that uh, we were anticipating is getting. So that's you know a caution that we don't. Um, that we, we know that that may be out there uh, in the coming weeks to get a better understanding of what, what that actually would be. But that being said, uh, I caution with the extra money because we don't know what kind, what the state is going to do knowing that districts receive federal money that went right to them based on excessive grants from the stimulus and whether or not they will modify anything in the basic ed funding. Um, for example, decreasing any amount that they would allocate to the district knowing they would receive those set of dollars. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they, they've been known to do that before the tax so we're really Okay. I like to what I'm trying to do is give you a good idea of what it looks like and what it might be. You know, I suppose what we're saying. Well, what's that noise? We don't know. <laughs> is, is your, Kathy, is your computer down on the bottom there? So it might be coming off of your computer. I don't know if it's if it's linked to the. Uh, I am mute as far. As are you on muted? I, I don't have a microphone either. I can't even use the Zoom. So if you see something. Okay, yep. so you're on to the local funding. Okay, so the uh, funding the local revenue and funding the value at this time, I, the, we went over this a lot. I'm still getting um, information in for We're still researching as it goes through our committee for the next care of property and environment. We will definitely have something by April May coming. Um, selection rate was a little better than anticipated, 94.5 and increased to 97 in the five years. We went over that the last time. Now, the funding acceptance, this is NIST, we do not qualify for any acceptance. Based on COVID, our special ed expenditures were less than the 1819. They compare 1819 to 1920. If there's an increase, then we usually have that 500 to 600,000. <coughs> because it was less, we do not have it. There's no opportunity for any acceptance. Hmm. That's interesting. So it was less. Our special ed costs are going up every year. And they're going up, but not when you have COVID. There wasn't enough to. It was flat as of March 16th. Because it didn't have enough. It was like shy of like I think there was like maybe a twenty thousand dollar difference between two years. This year they're going up. Don't worry, we caught up. Yeah, well, I, I, it, it doesn't really matter because I, I don't know that we would go for it, but I, I yeah, thought I it was going up every year. Anyway, yeah. You know, of course, we're um, Okay. On to expenses, the salary and benefits. The health club at their last meeting, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we had our last meeting. They voted to keep the insurance rates flat. There's caution on this. We have not had an increase in two years, and we're starting to build that facility where they they go to continue the project where there's going to be a one time of a clinic for all members to go to and do their housing. So mm -hmm. that's going to start its production. That's going to eat up fund balance. And I don't know what our increase is going to look like. So I'm projecting in my five year, I have a 4% increase every year after year. I just don't know what that's going to look like when it's all handed stuff out. Okay, I, I thought they were really doing that to hold down costs, the, the reason that they were doing that. It's going to hold down costs, but there's going to be a cost to get it up and running. They're reducing costs when off set then? Yeah, when it's all said and done, they're going to have to reduce costs. Okay. Um, the expenses, the salary and benefits, the health club at their last meeting, you know, it's a couple of weeks ago, we had our last meeting, they voted to keep the insurance rate flat. So depending on which direction you go, I will add it whenever that is determined. Okay. Um, okay. So professional and property services, 
I'm in um, the special services for special ed increase about 109,000 to cover because I'm right now I'm watching where we're going with this year's expenditures and I'm making sure they're kind of in line to make sure that budget is properly going forward. Um, the property services is the same number as presented. The preliminary budget still waiting to see the result of the snow removal in order to determine what we may or may not do for next year. So I left it flat right now, but that may change in the middle of that. Okay. Uh, the expenses, this is the new fees. Yeah, the fees and fees that uh, that um, I had already requested are these we remember we just got our debt was um, uh, refunding was finalized back in uh, it was just finalized in February, but I had already had the numbers in there to reflect the new funding and what our new um, debt interest payments will be for the community and the business. Okay. And then finally, I'm going to short and sweet, but we will continue to fight through the numbers. Remember, April, May is when we do a lot of our price adjustments. That's what uh, Max will get back to me. I'll be sitting with um, uh, facilities, bigger staff, to go over his budget numbers to kind of fine tune where we come in there. I will update when revenue numbers are filed from the state. And do you want to discuss a budget workshop for next month, or how would you like to do that? I, yeah, I would. Um, uh, I guess we should have it after the numbers, the, the new numbers, when you anticipate them coming in. Um, I guess the, the IT numbers, uh, would they be that's, available? That's or? A, usually by the May okay. presentation, I have IT finalized. Okay. So that's the only way I'm going to get but May is when you're going to see everything. Okay. So like everything should be updated, complete, done, forecast, everything. If you want me to do a forecast, I just sent out an email today. I'm shutting down um, for briefing the uh, actual budget for purchase order. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to be updating the budget for the next month. Okay. Um, and then we'll have Well, why don't we go over it in, at the uh, finance committee meeting in, in April? You can just give us an update, and uh, Absolutely. we'll have a workshop in May. I'll have an update there. I think yep. we have some good work that we're going to do in May as a budget. One of the things is we should be able to also, uh, through this last uh, stimulus money, the federal government will be sent to our team, put that 3.5 but that number is now with restrictions on whether it's the threat is one one year extended to next year. That's a good question. Yep. Yeah, it would be good to know. So the I, I apologize. Have they already set the um the the second um I'm sorry, Esther's three um, have they already set the limitations on what you can spend it on, or is that still coming out? That's still coming out. There's some preliminary uh, information that came out before that bill may have been adjusted. I think we moved to the different, uh, as Congress, we do know that about 750 to 700,000 had to be identified and allocated towards programs related to learning costs for Right. As a result of the pandemic. So, um, whether that stuck in or whether it increased or decreased, we, we're not sure. Yet. Or if they like increased the, the interval over which you could spend it, like Correct. we said. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Does anybody have any other questions? Uh, not on the presentation. I, I guess the question I have is, what is the um, spreadsheet showing us? Uh, this is our normal five year forecast. All I've done was I updated the numbers that I had indicated in the presentation. Mm -hmm. And it's just showing us right now with no no increase whatsoever. We're at a deficit of seven sixty. But that's of course before any price adjustments or anything like that. And my forecast numbers have to be screwed up as a result, but they're not. They're where I think we are now. And 
Okay. So, so this is showing it's a deficit of seven hundred and sixty thousand dollars, with no tax increase and not using any fund balance. Is that? The seven hundred sixty would be used in the FLP, but we use the fund balance to cover the seven sixty. We would have to use the fund, yeah. But, yeah. but you're showing the assigned fund balance of, right, right, right. yeah. Which then, what would that take our fund balance down to, if we had to do that? Well, it's sitting at a negative there, but right now we're sitting at the, the, uh, the numbers. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm sorry. So, the, the, um, yeah, I was not reading this. This is saying that it's a $3.3 million deficit yeah. and would take us to a negative fund balance. Exactly. What's that? I am looking at this year's preliminary budget, um, looking at the... Uh, well, it's, uh, it's current preliminary budget. Um, this one right here, it's at the top right here, and in the center column right there. It's showing our fund balance goes negative by 760. However, this here, is I'll, 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 in yeah. preliminary 21 22, it's yeah. in green. Row 3 yeah. is showing surplus or deficit. Deficit of $3.3 million, which would eat all of our fund balance plus $760,000. So, so, obviously, we can't do that. Yep. Yep. No, no, no. I understood. Well, I think it starts with you to go to expenditures. That's the first line. You jump down and you start walking down through their total salaries is up 762 170 
kind of sobering, you know, when you look back at your budget and go, okay, where, where is this going? Um, did, there's no decrease in headcount or anything like that this year. It's all kind of staying the same. So we're, there's no, been no increase. Everything that we've done pretty much has been a cost neutral so far. So we've been trying to do it. You know, the conversation goes. Um, and then professional services, that's the tech that was nice seeing that, you know, Purchase property services, that's up another, that's up a half a million as well. <clears throat> um, what, what goes into that account? That would be SSD, that would be Halter. Mm -hmm. Halter, SSD, okay. all your contracted services for facility. Okay, the services. Yeah, like the 432, the 4, yeah, they're all maintenance driven. Yeah, that was 371, so okay, it's maintenance. I guess this raises a question. Could we get the details for, for, for the making up some of these numbers in the spreadsheets for, especially for the items that are like 400, the, the roll up for 400? And, and that's mm -hmm. the, the budget you'll be seeing because I'll get you the details. But again, I'm going to be sitting with bigger staff because we have to go over the budget. Me, Rob, and bigger staff are going to sit down and look at those numbers. Yeah, and, I, and, and the, all the expenses I'm really interested in, obviously, I almost. Um, um, $700,000 and other purchases that um, was one point, it was almost um, like $1.2 million just in other purchase services. So is that the combination other of what I'm by 62? Yeah, so, other purchase services, that's where all your tuition is. You have transportation in there, <coughs> and you have all your tuition bills. That is going to be high, because that's a hard number to go with special ed. This year, I'm, I'm hunting for money, for tuition. Last year, well, because of COVID, we didn't have as much as we thought we were. So it's kind of, it's, 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 a moving, it's a moving thing. I don't, projecting out tuition, I like to just go to the higher end. Yeah, it's nice to see, um, we're, we're looking at charter school tuition going down. Is that a forecast based on what's happening in legislative, or is that something that we're looking at? Well, I mean, there's it, been a focus on some type of charter school reform. I'm not to say where there's a lot of advocacy out there um, for for that from the governor's office and also from various districts across the Commonwealth. But um, I mean, it, it, it's just kind of hard to plan for that being the case. Um, I mean, the governor's plan was a cap on charter school tuition per student um, on a flat rate. For regular education, but, you know, I like it. I'm just wondering. Well, yeah, the, the decrease is based on the work that Preston McKnight did. Right. And we just, it's a small incremental decrease. Yeah. But we're yes. hoping, we're hoping that, you know, the programs that he's implementing are going to bring some of these students back. Yeah. So, so we're forecasting about 100000 a year? Yes. So that, that's going down, right? Yeah, and, and, and with supplies, we should start to see that thing level out. Yeah. Well, I, I said, so could we see the details, I guess, for 400 and 600? Is... Yeah. The 600, remember, that includes 650, which is all your programs and stuff like that, your technology. That's the, um, you got 611, you got 612, which are your mm -hmm. under the capital expenditures that are under a certain dollar amount. And you have your supplies. So it's not all supplies. It's actually technology as well, like all your programs, like mm -hmm. licenses and stuff like that. We also have some nice decreases too. So, you know, um, property, other objects. Um, Properties, just because uh, we like sold the building. Right. That, that's like a one-time <laughs> thing because we sold the building. Well, that's only eighty thousand dollars. Isn't that a big thing? That's property. The seven hundred is property that's um, stuff that he buys. He buys servers. So then 700 would be like your capital type of things, like your big servers, um, oh, yeah, big that, things that <clears throat> not fine. Yeah. He's yeah. probably just on his cycle that he's not buying. Oh, yeah, that's so never mind. I'm, I'm looking for the property. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and then 
to um, other objects as long as they have a dollars. That one is actually where all your interest goes for the bond. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your interest for bond. Okay. Like what, this past year we didn't have because they were restructuring all the debt. So your interest is that whole thing. I think we were only at $3 million because we saved the $2 million by the restructuring. You can see you're saving 500000 Yeah. And other, other use of funds, 320 And uh, 800 uh, it was a 900 so, Yeah, that's the 900 The 900 is where your principal bonds and then the funds transfer is $800. $800,000 to capital. They're going off 320 this year? Well, the principal bonds, remember, do you remember the whole restructuring of the debt? Yeah. We only had to pay like $2 million in debt payments last year. Yeah. Our normal is like 5.8, okay. 5.9. So now we're going back to where we, we had one break, but now we have to go back and put the number one. I got you. Okay. Yeah, so like a $6 million bill every year, and then there's a couple other like minor ones. There's an energy one, and there's uh, um, the lease for the gym equipment and stuff like that. I mean, when you look at it, you go, you know, we have a five million dollar increase, but really, when you look back, you know, yeah, look back at the numbers, yeah. In nineteen, you know, nineteen and twenty, but you can put somewhere in the middle of that, right? It's it's still, kind of, that still kind of flat on it a little bit. And, you know, when you look at the deficit up to the top of three three, you still have to look. I mean, we gotta get, we gotta find it somewhere. We just have to find it somewhere. It's just can't keep going backwards like that. And you can't increase the taxes forever. Eventually, over a half, we had one hundred percent. Oh yeah, I mean that's a whole separate conversation. Right? But increasing taxes at the rate of inflation really isn't that big of a challenge, and that's really what you're restricted by with Act One. And again, price—we have not even gotten to the area where you're going to have Max is going to be sitting down going through all this thing. He put the worst case scenario in his budget to make sure he was covered. Okay. He always comes back and I, I can't even give you a dollar of money, five hundred thousand one year, you know, it's more than one. Depending on where he can ship and what he buys, things may change because your budget is so early. Right. Different things might have happened in the last three months. We don't know. Right. And they might have got the grant for things that he's already he's put in there, but now we got the grant for it, so we put you see what I mean? I do, I do. Yeah. So, I was just trying to get a base on oh, yeah. the first of the And then when you talk about the, the seed, you know, getting the details on these things. Yes. Uh, you know, you're not looking for a purchase by purchase. No, no, I'm, I'm looking at, we're, we're, we're looking at roll up cost elements. We're looking at 400 and 600. I, I'd like to know what's okay, four. I want to know 410, 420, okay, the, the piece. Yeah, right. yeah no, I yeah. got it grouped by the actual numbers, and that's, again, you get that detail. I showed you some of the details by the building budget mm -hmm. when we were here the last time. Yep. This time, right. not much of a change. I'd be showing you the same paper. Yep, it's just so the next day. time, the next time I come in, I'll have more adjustments, and you'll have the details. Okay. Yeah, like you said, you know, 410 versus 401 versus 403. Right. Then if you see something went inside there, we can maybe go to the next level. Right, right, and ask questions. Yeah. Hey, hey. The first meeting I went to, it was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. I knew, but it was, it was like, Right. What are we do? All the individual line items. Yeah. So much, yeah. Right. So much information is like, you yeah. No, but, but as we continue to look at a, a deficit, if we have to talk about tax increase versus really right. digging in and seeing, you know, what the expenses are going to, and we're not going to. It's good that the you know the numbers will go down, but it may is kind of late. I mean, we're we're already going to be talking about what we need to do for you know, increasing taxes or cutting, and then so. But I mean, that's just oh, that's yeah. just the way it works. Yeah, we're going to have an interim as we turn one in in April. Well, we'll, we'll talk about the finance meeting. We'll we'll, okay. we'll get a an update uh, for status and see yeah. where we are for at the finance meeting because we we have 50 minutes for that. And, yeah, did you, um, and you gave Ms. Um, Haynes a list of the things you wanted um, expanded yeah. for. Yeah, at this point it's 400 and 600. Uh, I think are the big right. ticket I think items. That makes sense. Yeah. And it sounds like you're still going for 400. There's still work to be done, but still would like to see what makes up the numbers at, the, at this point. Do you want to see it right now? Or yeah. Or do you want to wait and see until after I meet with Sigurdsson? When are you meeting with him? I think within the next couple of weeks, right? Okay. Yeah, you meeting with him in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, because we were talking about that. And I'm talking about a So if, yeah. I'd rather get the numbers. I don't want to get the Yeah, you can meet with you before we have our next finance meeting. I think that it'd be better if we had, like, a little bit closer to accurate. Yes, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think. But that'll give us enough time so I can, at least at the finance committee meeting, I can at least have already met with bigger staff and maybe adjust at the forum. He also plays a part in the 600, too. Okay. Because I might have overestimated whatever supplies he needs for the building. Right. Mm -hmm. So there was me doing, he came in and he did a lot of the budget, but then I went back in and tweaked those few things, and then, you know, we didn't get too busy. I'm busy. It's one of those things that happened. And so um, the buildings were, were neglected for a while and falling apart, and they got that. Right. But, you know, maybe we take some steps to make sure that the getting everything done in three years, we send it four or five years. It's, it's, one thing I, I did want to say is that you know it's not just the buildings that were neglected for a long time. It was it was programs for and and um, you know student achievement. And we're trying to like build 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 that up again by at, we added you know we added um, a new math and reading specialist to every grade. Um, we are adding in another kindergarten position, another full-time kindergarten position. Not doing it being blind to what the what the numbers look like, but you know th those things still I think that's 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 also ground that we need to make up that we lost in the in the in the twenty aughts. Mm -hmm. On to the 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? and, yeah, and right, I'm right. just saying, it's, that, but, but that, 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 when yeah. I, I kind of disagree when, yeah. when you when you look at it parallel, like saying, well, we have fewer, we have 50 fewer students this year than we had last year, so we should be spending more on less on salaries to educate those students. I, I don't know if we're there yet. We're we're properly educate you know we're trying I'm trying we, I want to properly educate those students not just well take away a, a teacher and a half for every fifty right. kids we lose. Yeah, and I, and I, and I wasn't looking at it that way either. I was trying to understand it. I, I have no criticism of the numbers all just trying to make sure that the numbers are accurate. And Got it. Okay. I do have one other line item question on the 500 right underneath the charter school tuition there's a line that's other and it's going up $400,000 that's just charter school tuition and there's regular tuition that's the line not going to use charter school so that, that's where that all falls into oh is that our special that's our special ed placements yeah oh. so, so that other that's is tuition because you can see like one year we're at three point five, we'll go three seven. I have it four. So you're just you're just applying the um, the the contracts we have with those schools and kind of projecting it out with what you know. Okay. And with Shelly too, you know you probably Absolutely. She has the knowledge, she has her list of people, she understands but one specialized movement and we're done. So the uh, how any discussion of how we get a handle on that number does not happen here. <laughs> it can't happen here because that the number when, once it gets here, once it gets to the point where we have made an agreement with the parents that we're going to do X, Y, and Z, the number is the number. So, and yeah, I get it. Right, but but it sounds like we budget so that we don't run into an issue. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. So, did the hop this year because we had to bring everybody back in full time for season? Services that are outside of other schools. And other schools, the tuition bills come in from all over, and it's all just dependent on the, the case at hand. Mm -hmm. I, you, can, you can't, like, everything kind of stopped in 1920. Right. But I'm seeing, like, an influx of stuff happening. Like, I mean, special ed budget, when I run their budget report, they have $2,000 left. I've never seen it like that before. So this is a different year. I'm not sure how to finish projecting for the end of the year. I kind of wait to see the numbers come in. Because that's the hardest one. With the professional services, my 300 to my 500 are very difficult to project. But the 600s are hard because 
when you're purchasing all the supplies that we needed, like when we're setting up all this field, the fields and this, that, and the other, we're still trying to get together with the grant money that he's applied for. Then I have to find the expenses because everything's been going like at 120 miles an hour. And as you know, we're trying to make sure that we catch the money and put it in the right bucket. There's also the FEMA aspect I haven't even had time to get to. So anything outside of those buckets of money that we still got to find and put together, because if I could come in and I tell you that $289,000 we were just talking about today, there's pieces that are sitting in your 300 that are actually part of the 289,000 after one month. But I have to, we just, we just talked about it, I have to identify it, move it, and make sure that that's their money is down below. Mm -hmm. So it, it's buckets of money trying to find and make sure we match it all up. And then a lot of stuff's flying at us on a very, very high speed right now. But I guarantee by April night it's going to be handled. Okay. Any other questions or no? So I, I think we're good. I, again, would like to see a break out of the, the 400 and the 600 numbers. You'll, you'll have at least the 400 after you meet with the bigger staff, and uh, and we'll get a summary at the um, finance committee meeting and plan a workshop for May. Okay. All right. Um, if nothing else, we will adjourn the budget workshop meeting. Thank you.